Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my fourth Python 3 tutorial. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to be covering variables in Python. And uh, if you don't know what variables are, basically, uh, you can think of them as a box that stores a value inside of it. And this value uh, can be almost anything. It can be a string, a number, uh, a function, another variable if you want. Um, and as you learn how to code more, you'll be able to see the usefulness of variables and you really have to use them all the time and uh... alright so how you create variables is really easy all you have to do um, is just put down the name that you want the variable to be called without quotes and uh, i'm going to call my variable var There's for variable and um... It, this, this name can be almost anything you want uh, there are a few exceptions which i'll get into later but uh, and then so anyway, so you put the name you want your variable to be called, and then the equal sign, which it's not actually an equal sign; it's the assignment operator in Python. And what's that? What that's saying is whatever's after this, uh, st this the value that's after this store it in the variable that is called, uh, in my case, var. And so anyway, so I'm going to store the value uh, five inside of the variable var. And now, uh, Python knows that there's a variable called var, and if I do print var, it'll print five. It doesn't print var. It looks back in its memory and it sees. It says, "Okay, there is a variable called var," and so I'll print what's inside of that. And so you can use this variable. You can use the variable in basically the same way that you would use the value stored inside of it. So you can see I can do var plus four which is 5 plus 4 which is 9 um, var times 3 which is 15 but you have to make sure if you don't have uh, if you use a variable name that isn't actually a variable you haven't called it yet you haven't created it yet it won't work so if I do print and let's say I accidentally do far instead of var it'll say uh, it'll give me an error and say that the name far isn't defined yet so it knows there's no variable called far. But uh, let's say I do create a variable called far, and that will contain the value 2. So now if I print far, it'll print 2. And uh, you can also use variables together. So I could do var plus far, which is 5 plus 2, which is 7. And uh, you can see how you can continue to use that. So. Uh, you don't have to just do numbers, like I said. You can also do strings. So I'll do that. I'll call. I'll make a string, uh, a variable that contains a string, and I'll call it my string, the assignment operator. And then uh, let's just do hello. And now again, you can use this variable, which contains a string, uh, in the same way that you would use a string. Um, and also, another way of of looking at the, of seeing that the variable. Uh, contains a string is if you do type oops type and then two parentheses inside that like my string and the type it's it's a string because it knows that uh, the variable my string contains a string so then uh, so anyway you can use my string um, as a string so I can do like string concatenation so I can do print my string comma goodbye and it'll print hello goodbye because my string is uh, my string contains the value hello. All right, and uh, variables you can also reassign a value. You can store a different value inside of it, but that gets rid of the last var value that you had stored. So right now, um, in my variable var, I have the value five, but I can do var equals four, and so that reassigns. Uh, the value of four to the variable var. Even though var was already created, you basically erased what was on it and then put the value four on it. So now if I print var, it'll print four. And uh, so five is gone. The value five is gone. Now this is really useful when you want to do things um, like adding numbers together and then restoring them inside the, the variable. So you can do var equals var plus four so that's the variable uh, var equals 
what was previously in that variable, which was 4 plus 4, so it's 8. Uh, and you can see, if I type in var, you can see it uh, outputs 8. And a, a shorter way of doing this up here is um, you can just do var plus or equal to 4, which is basically saying add 4 to the variable var. And so it'll add 4 to what was previously in that, which was 8, and then it'll equal 12. And you can also do that in the opposite way, var minus equal to 4. So now var equals 8 again. Uh, var times equal 3. Now it'll equal uh, 24. Um, so you can see that can be pretty useful in functions, especially. Um, and if you're doing while statements, uh, which we'll get into later, you can see you'll uh, you'll be able to see uh, how useful that is. Um, now I stated earlier that you can't uh, you can't just use any name for a variable name. There are a few that you can't use, and um, so these these names are illegal, and they'll bring up a syntax error. And uh, so the first one. Um, every variable has to begin with a letter. So if I do something like 43 red um, contains the value of oops, tree, it'll give me a syntax error because it starts with numbers. It has to start with a letter. Uh, they also can't contain any illegal characters. An example of an illegal character would be uh, the money sign, the dollar sign. Uh, that's an illegal character. There are more. You can look them up online at python.org. Um, also, you cannot use one of Python's keywords as a variable name. So, like, class is a Python keyword, and you can actually see right away it'll, it'll turn a different color. Most keywords will. And so you, it, you can't use that as, um, as a variable name. You can see it brings up a syntax error. And then, finally, uh, you can't have spaces in your in your variable name. So if I do something like my name contains a value of my name, it gets mad at me. And so you can use like underscores to in the place of spaces. Um, and that will work. Um, Alright, so you can also store variables inside of other variables. So it's kind of complicated, but I'll show you what I mean. Let's say you have a variable a contains the value 5. You can then do variable b equals a. And so now um, you can see if I print a to print 5, if I print b, I will also print 5. And if I change a to equal uh, to contain the value 6, if I um, print b, um, since b originally um, contained the value a and a contained the value 5 b contained the value 5 but when I changed a it didn't uh, affect b at all so you can kind of create a copy of something you can create a copy of one variable and then change that variable but the uh, copy that you made won't won't be changed at all so you can kind of retain the old value if you wanted to and if I changed b also to like 3 and then printed a. A is still equal to six, and b is equal to three. Um, so there you go. That is my tutorial on variables in Python. And I showed you how to create a variable uh, by naming it using the assignment operator, and then putting the value. And you can use variables in the same way that you would use the value stored inside of them. Um, so, like numbers, you can you can add other numbers to that variable. Strings you can you can use string concatenation um, to with a variable and then a string or even if you wanted to a variable and then another variable and it would produce the same effect uh, and you can also restore values inside of variables which overwrite overrides the uh, the previous value uh, and I also showed you briefly the illegal illegal names that uh, Python won't let you use for variable names. So that's it for this Python 3 tutorial. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.